Hey everyone, in this brief video I'm going to highlight and discuss two green flags for Caterpillar stock and one red flag for Caterpillar stock investors. So let's get right into the details here. So the first green flag I'm going to talk about is Caterpillar has been enjoying stellar pricing power in a supply constrained world. What that means is that Caterpillar has been able to sell its products at higher and higher prices because there's limited competition, there's limited supply of products in the market. So if customers want to buy the types of things that Caterpillar and its competitors are selling, they are more so having to pay higher prices. And so there was a question from an analyst asking Caterpillar management, you know, how long can this last? And you know, the CEO saying, you know, a whole variety of things go into our pricing decisions, the competitive situation, what's happening in various markets that we serve. So overall, we'll see what happens as far as how long we see this pricing power persist. And what I will tell you is that it looks like it's going to be around for at least the rest of 2023. Companies like Caterpillar, are not rushing to ramp up supply and neither are its competitors. They like the situation they're in right now. Higher pricing power, greater profit margins. They like that scenario. They're not rushing to get out of it to ramp up production because of these short-term factors. They'll capitalize, they'll benefit from these results. They'll keep it going. And it's not unlike what's going on in the car market too. You might, you might look at the car market, Ford, GM, Toyota, and others, they're benefiting from a similar scenario where supply shortages have allowed them to sell cars at higher prices, keeping profits higher, and the industry is trying to sustain that for as long as they can. So this is one green flag for Caterpillar stock investors. Let's move on to the second green flag for Caterpillar stock investors, which is the soaring demand for its products, the mismatch between supply and demand. So when Caterpillar is looking at its inventory in construction industries, there are some products where dealers wish they had more inventory. They wish they had more inventory because demand is so high that it's not enough, there isn't enough supply to meet that demand. So for instance, one area is building construction products where they wish they had more. And let me tell you something, folks. This is going to last for several years longer. The, so, the extremely high demand because of legislation that's passed in the U.S. that's fueling spending on construction and the onshoring, the friend shoring, as you might call it, of supply chains need means that there's going, going to be more construction spending for several years and that's really good news and that's a green flag for caterpillar stock in 2023 and beyond for that matter and beyond more so beyond because when legislation passes like a 700 billion dollar infrastructure bill for example that spending doesn't really start until maybe a year or two or three after that legislation passes. It takes time for permitting and requests and requests for proposal and all of that. So these those spending initiatives take years to initiate and they last for several years as well. So that's going to be a green flag for Caterpillar stock for several years more. So now let's look at the red flag for Caterpillar stock and that is its China its Chinese segment the segment that the sales in China which typically represents 5 to 10 percent of sales for Caterpillar is not recovering as well as the company thought so we they already expected China sales to be down this year according to management here but we they expected 2023 to be lower than 2022 but it's actually worse than they thought. It's a bit lower than they thought. In other words, the total industry is down more than we had anticipated. And I'm seeing this across the board with all of the companies that I follow that operate in China, whether it's Caterpillar, whether it's Starbucks, whether it's Nike, whether it's Apple, companies that operating in China are experiencing slower than expected sales this year. I think many industries 
were expecting the economic recovery in China to boost sales, but that economic recovery has been much slower than expected. And so companies operating there are experiencing a slowdown a bit worse than they thought. So there you have it, two green flags for Caterpillar stock and one red flag for Caterpillar stock investors to think about going forward. All right, but that's all I've got for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I want to thank The Motley Fool for sponsoring this video. Visit fool.com slash parkev for the 10 best stocks to buy now.